Hi there, and welcome to this introductory series on Sonic Pi. I'm really excited to share with you my knowledge about how to get started working both in terms of performance and composition with Sonic Pi. We're going to learn the basics of coding and the basics of synthesis techniques and the basics of composition. And we're going to explore each of those ideas in turn before finally coming with a, with a bigger composition that brings those elements together. And the critical thing is that each of these ideas are things that you can use in a completely different way than I've used. And that's the exciting part is that we were all able to compl make completely different music with each other. Now, some of you might already have coding backgrounds. That's totally fine. Maybe you might want to play it at a faster rate, certainly in the earlier sections. Some of you might not, and that's also fine. The idea here is that everyone is starting on a new playing field. Not everyone will know all the elements about Sonic Pi or making music with code. A lot of, of professional programmers have never made co music before with code. And a lot of musicians have never coded before. So actually, you're all most likely to be in the similar terrain of having something new to learn. Now, this video series is really on the introduction. If you're looking for more advanced things, then I will be making uh, additional videos in the future to cover more advanced topics. But there's more than enough material to get started and learning how to get making your first sounds and then making them really interesting and dynamic and getting that first composition down. So have fun, enjoy, uh, experiment between every lesson, spend the time to explore the code yourself, try things out, have fun, experiment and ultimately play. The goal here isn't to pass an exam. The goal here isn't to have the knowledge in a sort of correct way that we can do a big tick, that I can give you assignment points or any of that stuff. This is not, this is not school. This is not university. This is you having an opportunity to learn a new technique in order to allow you to express yourself. So that's what you should be doing. Just having fun and playing and trying things out and seeing what sounds cool for you. And as we'll see throughout the series, as you're experimenting with the different ideas in each lesson, occasionally it's going to sound terrible, actually probably quite a lot, but also occasionally it's going to sound amazing. And the cool thing is you'll be able to take the code on the screen, even if you don't understand why it's sounding amazing at that point, and hit the save button and save it as text so that later on, when you've got more understanding, you can understand why it sounds amazing. But even if you still don't then, you can still take those amazing pieces of snippets of code that you, that you just happen to find and use them and stitch them together to make your performances and your compositions. And then at some point you'll understand it, but you don't even need to understand exactly why things sound the way they are to enjoy them and to have fun. We're all learning together. There is no correct... There's no, there's no right, there's no wrong. There's just ways to have fun. So I really hope you have fun in this course and I'll see you around. Take care.